I'm we're that's good. We're all good. Hey there, witches and demons, it's Moscow bringing you another video. Today, we are going to be reacting to the Emil House episode 14. I think it was reaching out. Was it reaching out? She needs to scroll and check. Reaching out. I've heard mixed things about this episode. I've heard a little bit of angst, which I'm not excited about because as as I don't know, like the angst. As don't like it. Don't like the angst. Nope, don't like it. To combat the angst, I have my good vibes cup with me today, so we're gonna hope that works. Before we do that though, please make sure you thumbs up the video because it really helps me out and don't forget to click subscribe because it's hey, it's, it's free. And feel free to join the Hamish Coven as well. The button for that will be down in the description too. You get custom emojis and cool badges next to your name which highlights your comments. Without further ado, here it is. We're gonna click play and get started. Let's fucking go. Event with... Event reminder with mommy. 5pm. And it went off at 6am? Fuck me, even when I'm working I rarely get up that early. Well, that's a lie, I do get up that early. But like, that's early man, that's early. 5pm, okay. Wonder what that's about. Oh dear, oh her little face. Oh! What is he up to? <laughs> Why? Tighten the book. She's going to be weird with everybody today, isn't she? Because of whatever she's got going on, she's going to be trying to take her mind off of it. And she's going to be weird and then something's going to happen as a result of her being weird. Somebody's going to get hurt or in trouble. Something's going to happen and then she's going to have to reconcile with them and say what's been bothering her. It'll be interesting to see if it's going to go down the route of it being Amity or one of her friends or King or Ida. I don't know who it is going to be with yet, but I guess we'll find out. I feel great. Today's going to be a productive day of problem solving. Look, I call it the safety hover. That's cool though. Okay. Ooh. That'll work great when birds try to fly away with me. And I'm already on my way to building. That will also work great for something to do in this episode. They wouldn't have shown it. Like It's like the um, invisibility thing. Like she, she used it that episode. And then they've used it since. So this is going to, we're going to see this happening at some point in this episode. The second door. Oh, poor hootie. Uh, it's a work in progress. Willow gave me Hunter's contact. <laughs> <laughs> what is with the profile picture? What is that? <laughs> what is that? Look at that. Look, that's just, that's, <laughs> leave me alone. I love how it's got like the full stop, like he didn't press the space. Like, that's totally what I do when I get a new phone, so he's clearly not used to this, and I just... That little detail, it's the little nuggets like that, they just make this show fucking excellent. Like, they didn't need to include that, right? Also, what's his name? Ruler... Ruler's Reach Fan. Sorry, wrong person! Ah! Okay. The full stops. <laughs> I, I was texting on my phone when I got it at the start of this year. That was me. I was Hunter. <laughs> but look, like, okay, so who was he sending that to? Willow? And I know that his name's Flapjack now because you guys had all, somebody had said about some sort of recording thing in between the seasons and my mods went and pulled the record it the audio only recordings where it was like the voice actors were doing little skits with just their voices so one of my like honestly i cannot express how thankful i am to spyco my mod who downloaded them and sent them across to me so that i wouldn't like have anything else showing up on my youtube channel like in the recommended massive thank you thank you so much though so i know that he's called flapjack which is an adorable name i still like rascal but flapjack it is 
avoiding something. Spill it. Yes. I she am has. not. It's nothing big. I just miss her. That's all. What you need is a healthy distraction from your problems. Like breakfast. Yeah, okay. I could go for a griffin egg. Well, okay. Let us know if you need anything, okay? Oh. I didn't expect her to open up to somebody quite that quickly, actually. There goes my theory for the episode, but she didn't tell me exactly what it was. So we still don't know the detail. We only know that it was something that she'd done with her mum. I want to keep my episode recording length down, but I also want to try and guess what it is. This is a very attractive lick. Look at that. Ha ha ha. I don't know. <laughs> Dad? I mean, I go to my brother's grave once every kind of week to two weeks. I have like a kind of ritual about that. So I'm thinking if you've lost a loved one, generally people have things that they do either on the anniversaries or like every now and again they sort of do something. So has dad passed away? Is it something to do with dad? I mean, I can't assume that her parents are... I can't assume that she's got a dad, she might have another mum. But I've heard other people mention dad, so I'm assuming she's got a mum and a dad. Terrible assumption, I know. But anyway, yeah. Okay, interesting. <sighs> Luz, I have a problem and it could distract us all day. Perfect. Tell me all about it and don't spare a single detail. Dad, I don't want to go to coven tryouts. I want to enter the brawl and maybe win the champion belt like you did. She wants to follow in her dad's footsteps. Okay, so mum is convinced that she wants um, to become a coven head one day, right? We kind of know that that was Odalia's uh, want for her. Amity doesn't seem keen. She wants to follow in dad's footsteps, like the brawl thing. I could see Amity being a bit of a fighter. Okay. Is this going to tie in with Luce and her dad? Like, is this is it going to be Amity that she's going to have to eventually tell the whole truth to? I kind of like that. Let's go. I goofed off a lot back then. But you have a bright future and shouldn't waste it on that nonsense. I don't even want to join a coven anymore. I'm Ooh! So yeah, okay. I love that kind of growth in character development. I'm glad that Amity um, wasn't just reduced to girlfriend. Like, that happened to Astrid in the How to Train Your Dragon series and I fucking hated it. So, like, I'm so glad that they didn't just do that with Amity's character. If it was just, like, an episode or two, but we're going to get more Amity growth sprinkled in without, then I'm totally here for that. I'm totally here for it. She doesn't want to join a coven now. Big difference to wanting to be, like, the best in the best coven possible. Nice. This thing, I even tried disguising it. Yeah. I actually think Ida has the same outfit. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I breathed part of that back. It was fun. Mm. I... Yeah, you dis that's that was that was really that perfect disguise. The uh half -huh. eleven out of ten. Every time we get Amity episodes like this, it just bumps her further up my list of favourite characters. Like I wasn't massively like I was a I liked her, I really did. But with the introduction of V as well, V's jumped right up on my list. Pushed Amity down slightly, but I'm glad we're getting a bit more of her. It would have been nice to share something with him. Aww. Wait, 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 is that, um, what's his face? Darius? Is that him down here? No, maybe it's not. Is it? I'm trying to see. Where's Odalia? Oh, look, whoa, I totally missed that. Look who's at the back. It's Ida and Rain. I don't think I recognise any of the other faces. I think that's Darius. I'm three minutes into the episode and my recording length is 14 minutes. So we're playing on. Would have been nice to share something with him. That's so cute. Well, hey, I'm here to help. <gasps> you ditch the tryouts and enter the brawl. What? Yeah. Come on. You should know I always go for the chaotic route. <laughs> if you win, there's a game. You can use it as a chance to tell your dad that you don't want to join a coven anymore. Rare and, and difficult to find, Emerald Dagger from the Night Market. Oh, she's pretending to use her dad's voice. That'll okay. Busy. I got you, boo. Hey, Mittens. Oh, no. <laughs> We're proud of you, sis. Yeah, you're becoming more of a delinquent every day. 
Right, okay, so wait, 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 is that his palisman? Remember he was talking about like stealing a bat or something or eating a bat or, or some sort of bat thing in the snowy episode? Is that his palisman? Kind of love it. Okay, a concealment stone. Like I need one of those. <laughs> Here's mine too, for a little extra flair. <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> right, okay, is that what they actually look like? Oh, she looks great. But also, I want to see what they look like again. But she looks amazing. Oh, she looks amazing. Not bad. Oh, <laughs> they're so cute! <laughs> okay, ignoring the adorableness happening over in the corner. Okay, I just had to take in their character designs here. I It changed their whole outfits. It changes outfits too, obviously, because Amity's outfit has changed as well, but it changes like... Okay! Okay, I don't know if I should be disappointed that Em doesn't seem to have her beauty mark anymore, but okay, so... <laughs> Oh, they're so yeah. fucking cute. Oh. <laughs> All right, chill out, button eyes. Just answer me this. Heard any good castle gossip lately? Maybe something about the Day of Unity? <laughs> I see. So you finally need something from me, don't you, Owl Lady? After chopping off my head, stealing my crown, and imprisoning my student slash child, I think you owe my student slash child. Why did that get to me? Of all the things that could have got to me, why? Okay. Okay. And Harpy arm is back. Please. Sorry, our lady. No fighting outside the ring. Okay, okay. And watch the goods. Welcome to. Oh, that guy. He got a new job. Good. Glad. Contestants will fight one-on-one, -on -one, all knowing versus the mighty mittens. The mighty mittens. She looks great. Now, look at the bro. Lucy's that girlfriend, huh? She's that one. <laughs> She's that embarrassing one. I love it. Oh, I love that for her. Begin! need to do much. I can just sit back and think about things. Oh. Hey, Luz. Ooh, what's that? They're so fucking nosy. Have I, have I mentioned how much I love the twins? Have I mentioned that before? I don't think I have. I don't think I've said that enough. Allow me to say it again. I fucking love the twins. Right, so Lucy's gonna do something that's gonna disrupt this thing for Amity because she's trying to distract herself. Okay, I think. You okay? Yeah. No, she's uh, not. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Cause, but if I was fighting too, she could get to the belt faster. So I'm also gonna sign up for the Bonesboro Brawl. <laughs> But what if you have to fight each other? Is this supposed to be okay? No. Ada told me it's a special day for you. She did? I mean, it's nothing for you to worry about. Not even worth talking about, really. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, Luce, we know this. We, we should know this now. Oh, also, can I just say I love the brown and Amity's here. I love how it came down like that, but I love that we get it under as well. But anyway. This is this is the kind of stuff that you should probably open up to your partner and even if you're not quite ready to talk about it, just giving them the heads up that something's going on and like then just like going to them in your own time but as long as they kind of know a bit of what's happening. Yeah, okay. I, I just want to help you. Besides, can't let you have all the fun, right? Just don't get hurt, okay? Amara, oh, do you know any healing spells? So I'm on it. Cute. Ooh, I can help too. Let me try again. It's okay, Ed. Maybe you can just cheer from the sidelines? Yeah, okay. Go get them, Mittens! What was that? Why did they- why include that? They included it twice. Like, it could have just failed once if it was just maybe a funny gag, but they tried to make them do it twice. That's- 
There's something about that. Is that coming back up again? They wouldn't have included that if they didn't have reason to ex like they're yeah, okay. Interesting. Man, I can't get anything right. Hmm? Oh, Ed. Oh, okay. Hey, sweatpants! Scram! You'll scare away the skin badgers. Fortified rope. And he thinks he's useless. Sorry, I'm probably messing stuff up. Just forget I said anything. Wait, you know beastkeeping magic? A little. It's just a hobby, though. Probably not any good. Oh, beastkeeping magic. Right, that's what that was. Of. Right, okay. So that's. Oh, are we going to get little bits of the twins wanting to do something else? So he's into beastkeeping. I've had a lot of people ask me about what coven I'd be part of, and it took me a long time to decide, right? I know you can only be part of one coven, but you know how when you're at school you could study a couple of classes? I would select two, I'd go for two. I don't know what one I would join eventually, but I would definitely be studying the two magic. I would be studying healing, and I would be studying potions. They would be my two tracks that I would do, and the reason for that is because I would love nothing more than to be able to invent potions that could just chase away the blues. I will leave it there. Hey, my brother. Edric. Nah, too close to Ada. Here's the deal. I'm trying to make a blabber serum. I need to get certain information out of a certain demon. I'll do it. Dang, I didn't even have to offer to pay. Wait, what? Let's get started. <laughs> I love that. So is that not his palisman in? It's just like a creature that he's befriending. Cool. Oh, her hair's getting a little bit longer. I don't know if she's just scruffed it up for this or what, but I'm loving the gloves and I'm loving the the scruffed up hair. I love it. It's like mine when I get out of the shower. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mate. Let the oh. I also as well. Oh, it was a weird bit to close that. Can I, oh there is a spare, there it is. Can I also just explain though that like I really love the fact that Luce isn't traditionally feminine in like her dress code and things and the way that like everything from like the short hair to the like the jersey jumper thing I guess you might call it. Like she's she doesn't have distinctly feminine dress code and I really like that about her but it's also not not feminine if that makes sense like I would have loved to have had a character like Luce to look up to when I was little because I used to think that I was weird for buying stuff out the guys clothing section and my mum thinking that I wanted to be a boy just because I was doing that and I'm like no it's comfier and it fits better and it like I like the way it feels anyway nice oh Amity Oh, was that M healing Lucy's knee? So is that going to be healing for her? Interesting. Okay. Oh, no. things are creepy as hell. So the blabber serum should get your ex to tell you about your other ex? Man, being an adult gets complicated. Gordon Rath is not my king. And you stop telling people that. <laughs> Rat may know why my. It's just nice to be taken seriously for once. Yeah, I know what you mean. That was a friendship I didn't know I needed until I got it, and now I love it. That I uh, yeah that yeah. That was adorable. I really appreciated that. That was cute. I'm not tearing up. It's fine. We're okay. <laughs> Woo! This is a workout. Just healing. You doing okay, Emily? Yeah, uh, you too. Yeah. I'm gonna take a walk. Talk to her. Next time I am throwing you into the ocean. Oh. It's you. Oh, yeah. Get out of my head. What did she do? What did she do? That doesn't seem Is like it was okay? a good idea. Hey, guys. You didn't touch it, right? Dad filled this thing with alarms. Uh, of course not. Come on, Emily. It's showtime. She did touch it. She did touch it. That's going to be a problem, right? That's going to be a problem. Dad filled this thing with alarms. So does that mean that Dad's going to be getting notified of this? Okay. Will the warden lose the champion's belt? 
Oh, is that? Is that? Oh this no! This child forfeits the match. No, Dad, Dad, let her know. Dad. Loose, no. How did you find us? Oh no, Loose. Did you lie to me earlier? Uh, yeah, okay. I didn't want to worry you. Well, I am worried. You've been acting weird all day, and now I'm in trouble. What is going on with you? Seriously, it, it's nothing. Hey! Aww. I'm tired of standing around! I came here to fight! No! No! I'm not going anywhere with you! Either of you. <gasps> oh... Yeah, Oh, oh no. weak. Your dad's here. That can't be good, right? You find Miss Ida. I'll head over to Rat. Miss Ida. Oh, wait a minute. Was that the tree that exploded out of them at Grom? I, uh, sit here. You've been acting strange all day. Does it have something to do with the human realm? Oh, okay, okay. I don't talk about this because it happened, like, a long time ago. And it's, like, totally not an issue anymore. But, uh... Today's the anniversary of my dad passing away. Yeah. That's not an excuse for what I did. Yeah, yep, yeah, it hurts. Yeah, that, yep, yeah, that hurts. That was, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> totally unrelated to me in my life, okay, sorry. I didn't want to bring it up. He always brought us flowers on our birthdays, so after he passed away, we started picking flowers for each other. I don't have any flowers. And when you told me about the problem with your dad, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Got a case of the old jelly legs. I'll catch up. I don't know what rituals you have in the human realm, but I'll help you pick some flowers and we can do something here. Emmy. What the heck happened? Oh. Not good. Harpida mode activated. Yes. Hey, Rat. I got your back. What? Oh, what the heck, Dad? Boo. Yeah. Boo. He just doesn't get it. Ida, can you give me a lift? You got it, kiddo. Thank you for listening. I can't wait to pick flowers with you. Wait a minute, is that way she did a grab? Oh no, oh no, no, I didn't see. I can't wait to pick flowers with you. That was totally what she did a grab, wasn't it? Yeah, it was! <laughs> Why is that so awesome? Why was that so cool? That was dope, that I <laughs> took me back, man, that took me back. <laughs> Lush is smooth! I never knew that about her before, but she's very smooth! That was very well done. I'm making my own choices. Well done. Now. Well done, Amity. Well Hold done, Amity. Oh, yes! Respect. I don't know about rain, but I have heard some things. The Day of Unity is supposedly going to unite us with the Titan. But some of us don't think this new world will be very inviting to magic kind. Wild or not. Oh. Hmm. Miss Ida! Okay! I... Is 
Belos trying to get rid of all magic? He does hate witches. He made that very clear when Lilith decked him. Interesting. Okay. I am so, so sorry. Keep it up, kid. You got a future in wild magic. <laughs> Thanks, miss. I want a t-shirt, too! <laughs> what? I want one! I don't want to join the Emperor's Coven anymore, but that's... That's always been your dream. I bet you didn't even know I was dating Luz. Edelin's kid? See? You don't talk to us anymore. You're too busy making these monsters. I love the the total lack of judgment there. But I love that I mean, he's a little blush when she said it. It's so cute. I bet you didn't even know I was dating Luz. Edelin's kid? <laughs> like it wasn't even like a girl. It was Edelin's kid. <laughs> <laughs> for the emperor and mom's too busy trying to dye my hair green. I, I like your new hair color. It's abomination colored. Finally, someone gets it. Is dad going to become cool? I want dad to become cool. Oh. Find any good ones? Why is the animation so pretty though? The lighting in this is so beautiful. I love Lucy's little hairstyle. No. Not really. Now what? Oh. Do you think they'll reach the human realm? Probably doesn't work that way, but it's a nice thought, right? Yeah, I'm okay, we're fine. That is fine. I'm we're, that's good. We're all good. Everything's okay. Everything's absolutely perfect. It's alright. It's okay. It's fine. It's it was a good episode, you guys. It was such a good episode. Okay, yes, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, right, okay, so uh Emperor Belos is potentially trying to get rid of magic, like we're not really sure what he's doing. Luce lost her dad, we've got confirmation of that. I feel like Alador is rekindling with his kids and potentially with like Ida and everybody as well. He might become involved on their side in the final fight. Whatever that is and whatever that looks like, we'll see. I really enjoyed that. Make sure make sure you thumbs up the video, leave me your fake uh, head cannons and fake spoilers and shit down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to click subscribe because I'll be putting up new videos as often as I can. And remember, you can also join the Hamish Coven. I've already spoken about that, so I will be over the head with a dead horse. Dead cow. That was bad. Anyway, uh, and that's all I've got time for, so I will see you next time with another video. And until then, haste you back, guys.